Having your pet spayed or neutered is not one of those I will get to it when I get to it situations, but is an important decision you should decide right away. Although you can have your dog fixed at any time, the sooner the better. Along with saving dogs from a tragic drug end, it also prevents health issues. By having your pet fixed, you will be indirectly helping out shelters and other animals' lives. Allowing the correct amount of time, it will even decrease the current overpopulation of animals. In the United States alone, there are as many as 6 to 8 million homeless animals. Sure, some states have more than others, but in order to leave a dent, every state has to work together. Approximately half of sheltered animals will be adopted. As for the other half, they will end up euthanized. Unfortunately, most of these pets did nothing wrong. They just drew an unlucky number. One common excuse used by people is that it costs too much or their pet is too old. Although many veterinarians recommend having the surgery done as close to eight weeks as possible, it can be done later in life. The only thing is, if you make the decision at the younger age, there are less complications and post-surgery problems greatly decrease. Costs do vary depending on location. Some places charge as little as 50 and some can cost a few hundred. However, easy research can find a place fitting your budget. Veterinarians usually go by weight of the dog at the time of the surgery in order to give you an estimate. Females do tend to cost a little more because the procedure is slightly more advanced and time-consuming. However, when comparing the cost of surgery to raising a litter of puppies, surgery is the less. Raising litters can be a $200 to $300 minimum, not including any medical complications hospitalizing some of the animals. If you're not convinced, just adopt. Most dogs are fixed upon shelter entry. You will be able to skip costs and will save a dog being risked being put down. Shelters across America support spaying and neutering your pet. Shelter employees try their best to put all dogs coming through the door into loving homes. However, with millions of animals in shelters every year, the number of them outweighs the number of adopters. This is caused by overpopulation from accidental breeding or the, well, I only wanted one litter of puppies, but now I can't find any homes. With all this, over, 300 mil over 3 million animals are put down every year in shelters due to lack of space. Out of those 3 million, 25% are purebred and families couldn't find homes. This problem wouldn't be there if pets were fixed. With numbers so high, shelters do not have room to fit any more animals, and that leads to being euthanized via intravenous injection. Unfortunately, there's nothing else shelters can do. Health is another reason to have your pet spayed and neutered. When, when post-surgery, there is virtually no mark left, and it will prevent lots of future health problems. This includes a lot of cancer problems. The best part is it can keep males and females out of trouble with owners and other animals. For males, neutering lowers the risk of testicular cancer and reduces the risk of other tumors. In females, it reduces the risk of breast cancer, uterine cancer, and it prevents uterine infections. However, for this to hold true, you must have the female procedure done by the time of their first heat cycle and the males before reaching sexual maturity. As for the trouble the pet can get into with other animals, males tend to urine mark and roam in search of a mate. When the desired mate is no longer there, the dog will stop roaming and will befriend other animals. A big problem for dominant males is fighting over a female in heat. When fighting is said and done, a dog can be seriously injured or even killed if not going into submission. This should be enough. However, if you still have some of those common myths, let's debunk. The first year your dog's personality will change. This is false. The dog might be nicer towards its owners, but the dog will still be aggressive to people who want to harm its family. It will just make it more enjoyable to have around children and other pets. Another myth is the dog will become lazy, leading to obesity. This is the only way that this will happen is if you stop providing exercise. The dog is not going to gain weight from laying around for a couple of weeks in recovery. And if he or she does, they'll burn it off with exercise. The third myth is that the animal will be self-conscious and will not feel like a male. This is not true. Animals don't have the sense of gender that we have. So even if a male animal is fixed, it will not be self-conscious. But I hear the surgery is painful and dangerous. This is also untrue. Spaying and neutering is one of the most common surgeries to go through the veterinary hospitals. Finally, people say letting puppies be born will give their children a look on life. This may be true, but it's going to pass a bad one off. Taking one life out of the world to put another one in is wrong. If you really want to understand the importance of life, tell them about the dogs who are put down every day due to people not wanting them. This will not only teach them about life and how fragile it is, but it will also teach them responsibility. In conclusion, the only myth that is true is that you should indeed have your pet sterilized. In the large picture of things, it will help a lot of innocent lives that have been in shelters for weeks, months, days, or even years. Wouldn't it be nice to have a pet who lived a safe and long life because it didn't get in a fight while looking for a mate or got a deadly form of cancer? 
Just think, by helping out shelters, we would not need to pay millions of dollars towards supplies taking a life. Only after we get the population under control can we truly repay the debt to man's best friend for what we have done. I mean, you can't use the excuse of the procedure costing too much or you didn't have time to sit and wait. The average cost of a litter is way more. And